and let's now create wheat or grass here so this uh, is file I will share with you and uh, you can find here wheat uh, collection okay so you can find this uh, wheat collection so you can just go with right click select objects and uh, then you can find this objects here and I will now press numpy slash key to isolate only these three models and you can see how this looks so this is uh, what I do for one of my last uh, tutorials so I will go again select objects or you can just select these three objects and you can go with copy objects and now we can import this to our scene so paste these uh, objects here and let's if you don't see this move tool you can just click here and let's now move this uh, somewhere we can see these objects and let's again here press uh, with selected these objects press M to create new collection and now we can call this V and let's now set this as particle system so we can select this ground and I will now uh, close this reference this is not reference this is uh, sky texture here but I don't need this so I can go right click and join areas and click down okay now when we have selected this ground we can click here to particle and add new particle system and we can set this as here okay and let's go with the control A and apply scale and you can see that this uh, here particles change because uh, so that means that this scale affect to our particles okay and now I will set this maybe to 4000 here and uh, I will click here to advance but I don't want this blender default here particles I want to uh, select this with as uh, our particles so I will go here to render and I will rend uh, set this render as collection and we have this uh, with collection here so I will from this uh, collection select this with and you can see that we get this width on this ground but uh, we need to change scale to 1 and now we need fix rotation so I will enable here rotation and I will set this to global Z okay but this don't work uh, I think I need apply rot uh, rotation for this uh, width but we don't need to do this we can just play with this values so global X uh, work or global Y okay and I check uh, last time I uh, I think this is this look too big so we can bring this scale down last time I go with volume of about 1.4 and you can see on left that we need more these particles but uh, if we change scale of this uh, plane we will get uh, same amount uh, of particles on a smaller area and if we just scale this area we get uh, we get more density of these uh, particles here so I don't want uh, any particles which are not visible in camera so I will go again with SX okay here we start see this corner so I will scale this now on Y axis and what I do last time because I want uh, more density closer to camera I will go again with SY and I will make this more dense but uh, here in background I don't need too much of these uh, particles so I will go with uh, Shift D Y and I will scale this and make this bigger in background so this means that we have same amount uh, of these particles on bigger area and I think last time I duplicate this even one more time so we can do this uh, now so I will go with shift D Y and I will now go with S X to place one here background 
but uh, depend on your computer this can slow down your uh, computer and if you want you can go here in particle system settings and you can in viewport display bring this value down so if you type here 0.5 in viewport you will see only 50% of these uh, particles but uh, when you go with F12 to render you will get 100 of this uh, in render but let's play a little more with these settings I think I can handle this so I will maybe scale this a little more so I will just drag this to about 0 0.47 and I will set this increase this scale randomness so when we have this to zero all these are same height but if we scale this to about maybe 0.1 or 0.2 you can see that some of these are become bigger or smaller and we can also randomize some uh, rotation here so if we move this uh, all to one we get this but I will go with value of or 0.50 and we can also add some randomized face here just a small amount and I think I will increase this value to maybe 4500 And last time I test this new color management uh, in uh, Blender 4.0 so I set this to, I go here to color management and I set this to AGX and you can see that uh, this now become little darker but we can back this uh, exposure little up and also this gamma to back some uh, light here. And uh, we can add uh, more fog atmosphere here if we, in this volumetric cube, increase this emission to maybe 0 0.0004. Okay, let's, uh, or maybe 0 0.0003. Let's keep this for now. 